Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Hope you had a great night rest and are ready to learn a little bit this morning. We are still talking, we started talking yesterday about the name of Jesus. And so today we're going to continue with the spiritual gift of the name of Jesus. We read yesterday in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, There is no, one, no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved today i want to look at the name of jesus and why it is so important most people today give their babies names because they like such and such a name or they sound good together well back in jesus day people gave names based on who they were or what the child would be in Matthew 1 verse 21 the angel told Joseph concerning his fiance Mary and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying behold a virgin shall be with child and she shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. The name Jesus tells us that he is a Savior. The name Emmanuel tells us that he is God. On a side note, when I found out that when David was supposed to name Solomon, the name Jedidiah, which means beloved or Jehovah or beloved of God. I consider changing my own name to Jedidiah. I'm still thinking about it. Yesterday in Acts 12, oh, excuse me, Acts chapter 4, we saw that the Jewish rulers and the elders didn't want Peter and John speaking or teaching in the name of Jesus. I found it interesting that in Matthew 12, 21, Jesus had just repeated a prophecy of Isaiah and ended it with, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. We Gentiles need to believe in the name of Jesus and minister that to our Jewish friends. Jesus also told us that in the end times, which most of us believe that we are in now. In Matthew 24 verse 9 it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. If we take the name of Jesus, we won't be popular. We will be hated, afflicted, and killed for the name of Jesus. This is not a verse that you'll find in your Bible promise box. In Matthew 13, 13, Jesus says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. That is good news. If we endure to the end, we will be saved. I want to be saved. There are good things that can be done with the name of Jesus. Mark 16 verse 17 says, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. In Luke 10 17 it says, And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. One of the times that Jesus appeared to the disciples 
after he rose from the grave, he said in Luke 24, 27, Repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. This actually played out in Acts chapter 10, verse 43, which says, To him give all the prophets witness that through his name whosoever believes in him shall have remission of sins. We've read recently in John 14, verses 13 and 14, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Miracles can be performed in his name. When Peter and John met the crippled man at the gate called Beautiful, in Acts chapter 3 verse 6, it says, Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 through 11 says, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in the earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Sickness has to go. James 5.14 says, Is any of you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. But most of all, there is salvation in his name. Acts 2.21 says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever should call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 1 John 3.23 says, And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave commandment. And finally, in 1 John 5, verse 13, These things have I written unto you, that you believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that you have eternal life, and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. That wraps it up for today. Tomorrow, we will look at the gift of repentance. Be sure to click the red button, the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I am so thankful for my subscribers. And I don't want anyone to miss any of these lessons. Let us pray. Father, we're so thankful for the name of Jesus. Lord God, that whatever we're going through, we can call upon his mighty name. And we thank you that you are in control, Lord God, regardless of what's going on around the world. None, none of this has caught you by surprise. You haven't fallen off the throne. Lord God, you are still in control. You have plans for us, and they are good plans. Father, help us to get on the path that you want us to be on, Lord God, that we can accomplish your will here on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we pray for those that are sick. Lord God, our friends and family members that are sick, we just pray total healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a great day today. Mm -hmm.